Seven Knox is an easy-to-use web-based interface that allows authorized users to book after-hours air conditioning in commercial buildings. This video describes how to set up the Seven Knox site device, discover the site device in a BACnet network, and perform BACnet network bindings between the Seven Knox site device and a third-party BACnet device. Seven Knox utilizes REST API technology to communicate between the site and the cloud services. The Seven Knox site device is a small embedded Linux computer running the Seven Knox client application. The client application requires very low resource to operate, so it can be deployed on a device like a Raspberry Pi or equivalent. The client application is a BACnet device, which can be discovered by any BACnet control system. This diagram demonstrates a typical 7 Knox implementation architecture, where the users connect over the Internet to the 7 Knox hosted service, which in turn communicates with the 7 Knox site device located on the client side. The 7 Knox site device communicates using HTTP protocol to connect to the 7 Knox hosted service, which is a cloud based service. The 7 Knox site device Located on site, communicates over the local network using BACnet protocol to enable the after hours air conditioning via the BMS control system. Things you will need to implement 7 Knox on your site 1. A 7 Knox site device. Number 2. A 24 volt AC power supply or a mains power outlet to connect a standalone power supply, which is supplied with the 7 Knox site device. Number three, a network connection with access to the internet. Number four, a computer to configure the IP address and other settings on the 7 Knox device through its HTML web interface. Once you have installed the 7 Knox site device and have power connected to the device, you will need to configure the site device IP address. By default, this is set to 192.168.20.90. Once you have successfully connected to the 7 Knox site device, you will be presented with four options network, 7 Knox app, firmware, and system. Using the network tab, you are able to set the IP address and enable DHCP, configure the subnet mask, gateway, and primary and secondary DNS. In the 7 Knox app tab, you are able to configure the BACnet ID, BACnet port, log mode, which by default is set to three, which records all activities in a flat file. One and two record less information, but is not recommended. Site identification and URL are provided by the 7 Knox support team at the time of implementation. Site identification is a unique ID. The URL is the HTTP connection to the 7 Knox hosted service. The firmware tab is where the device firmware can be upgraded using a firmware file. The System tab is where you can configure the time and time zone, enable automatic time sync, reset the 7 Knox device, download logs, and reinitialize the database. This video details how the 7 Knox site device is discovered using Niagara AX. The same method applies when using newer versions, such as Niagara 4. Click on the BACnet network under Drivers in the navigation tree. Once the page has loaded, click on Discover. Configure the device discovery, device low limit and high limit, and press OK Continue. Please note, the device high and low limit will depend on what the site device has been configured to, which will vary from site to site. Once the discovery has finished, you will see the Opsys After Hours device appear in the Discovered Devices window. Select the device and add. Once the device has been added, it will appear under the Navigation window. Under Device, click on Point and hit Discover. Once the points have been discovered, you will see them appear in the window under the BACnet Discovered Points. There are four different kinds of points configured in the 7 Knox device, two analog valves, boiler, and chiller. These are optional points and are only used when a building charges for the chiller consumption or charges for the boiler consumption. The floor occupancy points are only used if physical buttons are installed on site to enable the after hours air conditioning. This is also an optional point. The web signal point is a compulsory point that is used to enable the after hours air conditioning. 
Next, we will look at how to create a binding between the 7 knock site device and a BACnet controller. In this example, we are using a Distech Eclipse series controller using the GFX programming tool. In this example, we are adding a network value to the page. Under the object name, we name it B1L1 as a reference to the area the binding relates to. Under the description field, we give it a more detailed description. We then configure the device instance to 300. Object type to binary value, object instance to zero, property identifier to present value. Under network properties, we then configure the read method to subscribe COV. Confirmed COV to subscribe COV, the other settings in this page we leave as default, such as the COV subscription, time max received, time for poll interval, and default value. Once we have finished, we then switch to the Niagara window and confirm that the object ID is configured the same as the object ID we configured in GFX.